Hi everyone. Today I will instruct you on how to connect a hard drive to an Android ice cream sandwich tablet using a USB cable with a supplementary power USB connection for supplementary power. The external hard drive derives power from the PC USB and the power need required is 5 volts. But when we connect it to an Android ice cream sandwich tablet, I will just show you. This is the OTG connector from mini USB to USB female, which is supplied with the tablet. When we connect this, As you can see, there is no indication and there, the even though the hard drive shows a light, but there is no indication in the settings menu that USB is mounted or anything. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to provide supplementary power. This can be done using a 5 volts adapter of a of a mobile. Now this adapter has a USB connection. Now this is for the mobile. It is a micro USB. Now this cable we can just remove and attach a USB male to USB female. So this USB male connector we can connect in this adapter and the USB female adapter we can connect with the supplementary USB connection applied with the external hard drive. Once we do this, you notice the light on this adapter. Now when we put this into the mains and switch it on, you will notice USB is mounted. So what we have done basically is we've used the power from the 5 volt adapter to power our USB. Okay. What we can do is I'll just show you the file manager. The setup doesn't need to be moved. If it is moved, then things start to become problematic. Yes. This is the USB external drive which is connected, as you can see, and you can open folders. I am I have a lot of movies on the external drive which I can show you by playing. Directly from the external hard drive you can play or you can copy the movies to the to your tablet and then you can play them. works perfectly well with ice cream sandwich and should work with jelly bean as well. So the main issue was not that the driver was not there in ice cream sandwich to connect external hard drive, but the power was not enough. So if that problem can be solved by using a 5 volt adapter, which I'll show you.
I got to unmount it. Anyway, this is out. So this is a charger which has 5 volts output and uh, 500 MA. I am not sure you can see it very clearly. But uh, it has a 5 volt output. Most of the chargers of uh, today's phones, Android phones have this configuration. So you uh, with this USB in it. So you can just what what you will need which is this charger with, with five volt output. Five volt is important because five volt is the USB current which is supplied to a external hard drive, and you will need a cable like this, which has a USB male and a USB female at the at one end. So you use the USB male and connect it to this charger. Whereas you connect the female end to the second USB to the second USB which comes from the external hard drive. Okay. And then you can plug it into the main safely and turn it on. Whereas the first USB from the external hard drive you connect it to the OTG cable of mini USB to USB female from the tablet unlock the tablet and connect it and there you go you can see USB is mounted and it will show in the file manager. Thank you. If you like my video, click on like and hope this helps. Thank you.